hello everyone wish you a very happy independence day and on the independence day we are coming back with one more episode of stock watch and this is episode number 27th and in this video we are going to discuss not only one stock but i have selected two stocks for this particular episode so make sure you watch this video till the end my name is yagnesh patel and we are again back with one more episode and today's episode we are going to discuss total two stocks and i am not going to reveal the name of the stock so make sure you watch this video to till the end and yesterday uh, on the occasion of this independence day we have released one video about swing trading strategy so if you haven't watched that video then i am going to give you the link into description and you can also find here so watch that video might possible it will change the perception about your trading okay so make sure you watch that video and you can also learn how to do swing trading if you are busy with your jobs and the other businesses so this is a very powerful technique if you are not sitting in front of the screen all the time so coming back to this video uh, we are going to discuss two stocks and i am not going to share the name of the stocks but i want to give one information about my uh, the stock watch series okay uh, many times we have seen whenever we uh, upload the video uh, very next week we met the target of particular stock sometime we will get some time to achieve the target or maybe sometime it will hit the stop loss after some time so it is not going to possible all the time whenever we upload the video it will suddenly hit the target very next week so kindly be patient sometime it will take time and this is a stock market and it is it is a probability game okay so sometime your probab probability will be in your favor and sometime it will be not in your favor so be patient and wait for the levels which we have discussed on particular videos so uh, kindly be patient this is the main information i want to pass to all of you and now we are going to discuss and analyzing two stocks so let's jump to the screen hello everyone welcome to the screen and you can able to see the chart of havels this is the daily chart and spot price chart and we are going to analyze uh, the time frame different time frame for havels and we have categorized this stock as a selling stock for coming week so let's find out the reasons why this stock has given uh the signal for the bearish the stock for the coming week so moving forward to the time frame from the higher time frame weekly and we can see uh before that we are also going to analyze the monthly or time frame also so here you can see previous month july was a doji candlestick doji candlestick high is a uh, testing here and uh we can see we have seen some uh, bearish signals on daily charts so first of all we have seen why the bearish signal comes on the daily smaller time frame because of this monthly resistance of this doji candle okay and also there is a retracement resistance also there and we have seen a 50% retracement comes around say of 627 level uh here you can see so that's why there are two reasons uh, we can see uh, the stock is facing resistance on a higher time frame and the rsi is also trading between 60 40 so it's a kind of sideways for our medium uh, long term horizon because this is a monthly time frame so let's find out the weekly chart also and weekly we have seen uh, one more doji candlestick uh, which is a reversal candlestick pattern and again there is a three bar divergence also there on the weekly chart so here this is a three bar negative divergence classical negative divergence and one more confirmation is this is doji candlestick uh, the slope of the moving average is downside so weekly time frame is in downtrend and the stock is resisting at, a, at this time frame of this moving average 55 days moving average it is a simple moving average and we can see some kind of resistance here so let's find out on the bollinger bands also bollinger bands are uh, away and slightly widening so no signals from the bollinger band so i am hiding it and we have seen uh, multiple time frames like 
monthly is showing some kind of re resistance weekly there are moving average resistance doji candlestick three bar negative divergence and also the last big candle not this week uh, previously week we have seen a good bullish candle but lower volumes big, uh, so this is not a good sign for bulls and now let's find out the reasons for the daily chart and we have seen here is a resistance zone for this counter i'll mark the resistance zone you can see here is a support and resistance so clearly here there was a support area which has broken out and stock has tried to go above the support zone but not able to sustain and selling pressure started from this zone okay and we have seen a good selling after that the moving average resistance was there slightly here it is a breakout of moving average and stock was moving upside but the, at the same area here is the same area around 620 and 635 this 15 point gap is a very a good area of resistance for heaven stock and we have seen some bearish candlestick also this is a doji this is a bearish candle and bearish angle fin candles also pattern formation here and again one more um, bearish candlestick pattern and you can simply say one more thing when the stock has giving upside move from here to here from lower level to here we have witnessing a declining in the volume which is a concern of sign for bulls if the rally is really sustainable then this volume should be higher compared to this one but on a higher volumes on a higher higher price volume is declining so there is a divergence in volume and price so that that need to be also consider one more thing is there are multiple of negative divergences are there here we can see from here to here and one more is from here to here there is a divergence and lastly third divergence is also there this is a four bar divergence again very very powerful and this is the last three bar divergence okay price is making new high but uh, other side is making new low it is not going up so it's a clear cut divergence and multiple of divergences are there okay so there is a very good sign uh, divergences are the very good sign of reversals and here the multiple of divergences are there total three divergences are there on the daily time frame so this is a ideal condition for this stock it is witnessing some kind of resistance here and also volume is also confirming this uh, this confirmation now setting a bollinger bands so bollinger band uh, we have seen multiple of times that it has tried to go up but again go up come down a uh, breaking up but uh, next trading session it has come down and here is also trying to go upside but forming a some kind of reversal patterns reversal divergence negative divergence which is a reversal sign and inside outside also there and we have witnessed a reversal candle here on the last trading session which is a confirmation so i'm heading to bollinger now and uh, if we if we can say the stock is facing a resistance on monthly time frame weekly is also suggesting some kind of bearish signals and daily there are multiple of signals okay so these are the uh, indications from this stock that might possible some kind of selling uh, may appear in havel's counter so now let's talk about the levels so i am removing this red support the resistance zone and now we are talking about the levels so if you are going to take a short sell then your result on this candle highs you can see multiple of highs are same uh, 620 620 and 621 so we are going to place stop loss at 625 above the high and this is our area of stop loss and i am forming a horizontal line at 625 level so it will be very visible to everyone So 625 is the area of resistance stop loss for havens. Okay, and what should be your ideal target? Ideal target should be around. This is a baseline. You can see there are a multiple of 
support here previously it was a resistance here and it has broken out here somewhere and stock has taken support one two three four five so multiple of times support comes here so we are going to mark this level of support as our area of target so currently stock is trading around 611 625 is your area of stop loss and 568 570 zone is the area of support again so might possible we will face some kind of selling pressure up to 570 568 area in heavens and these all are the spot levels okay so this is the total uh, outcome and we have uh, clearly giving a view about so this is the indications that stock are stock is giving us some bearish signals on multiple time frames and we are, we are expecting some fall in this counter heavens so keep this stock as a bearish stock in your watch list so now again <clears throat> the next stock is we are going to talk about voltas and again this is also a bearish stock we have selecting this stock as the bearish stock for coming days coming weeks also and uh, let's find out the reasons why this is a bearish stock first reason is a very good spinning candle appears on a last trading session at a top okay with a higher volumes so this is the first eye catching on a smaller time frame daily chart so let's convert this chart to the monthly and we are going to analyze it more and first there is a monthly chart and stock is having a resistance of 61 percent around 623 level on a monthly time frame longer term time frame so it's a golden ratio resistance so we cannot ignore this kind of levels uh, so first signal is it is facing a resistance of golden ratio 61.8 percent retracement and if we if one more thing stock has a very good support area on monthly time frame here which is now acting as uh, because it, it was it, earlier it was a support it has broken down with a big body black candle here on a monthly time frame and again stock has come to the same area of support now acting as a resistance so here is your area of resistance and 61 percent also comes to the same level so that is the reason we have select this stock as a bearish stock one of the reason and converting this chart to the weekly time frame so weekly is a, a good candlestick uh, bullish candlestick but previously we have seen uh, some neutral candles this is a doji this is a shooting star and this is a flat uh, flat moving average resistance also previously it was upside this is a slope upside here is a slope here is a downside but here is a sideways flat slope and facing a resistance and rsi is approaching 60 level as a resistance now so keep this stock in your list as a uh, negative stock or the bearish stock and now coming to the daily time frame so on a daily time frame we already see this candle bearish candle with a higher volumes and price has making a new high here first okay but there is a concern is on a weekly time frame on a monthly time frame we have seen a area of resistance and on a smaller time frame like daily this is the daily chart short term chart we have seen multiple of divergences again okay here is a first divergence here and one more divergence comes here to here and this last one is almost five to seven bar and the bars are very uh, less so more is the powerful uh, this divergence so and again what one good bearish candle appears after a divergence multiple of divergence so this is one more, one more indication that we have identified from this shorter time frame and now it's time to mark the levels for particular stock voltas as a bearish stock so we are going to check the high of the last candle which is around 631.95 and previously we have marked a support area of 639 so above this high of this candle we are going to mark our stop loss which is 631 so we are going to mark 635 
as an area of stop loss. Six thirty-five is our area of stop loss. I'm going to mark the horizontal line so it will be visible to everyone. Six thirty-five. The candle highs comes around six thirty-one. Monthly resistance is come around six thirty-nine, and six uh, thirty-five is our area of stop loss for this counter. And what should be your area of target? So we are going to mark the area of target around this. Here is you can see the rally has been started on upside for Voltas. So we can clearly say from this candlestick onwards, it buying pressure has been emerged at area of this level. So and here is a small gap also. So we are going to mark the area of the gap area is our support zone. So 550 is the area. So I am marking this area. 553 550 so this is the area and this is the area of target for voltas um, so my possible even we cannot see directly selling coming to next week or but eventually we will face some kind of good selling pressure in this counter voltas also so keep your uh, stop loss and the target area on your chart in case we get a stopped out the area we are exiting at 635 okay so these are the total signals we have find out on voltas chart so these are the two stocks which we have identify as a bearish stock for coming days and if you like the way we analyzing the stocks and how we built up our view for particular stocks then hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel wait for my another video thank you so much